Okay, here's the uh, system configuration tool that was entered uh, during the first boot of the kernel zone. And I would just proceed through this hitting F2 and entering things like the uh, host name, uh, IP address, etc. I'll complete all this and then I'll come back to the rest of the presentation. Right, I've finished the configuration of the zone and I've logged into it as a root. Now we're going to run format and you can see the disk that's come up. One disk is known about and it's 150 gigabytes rather than the default 16 gigs so that's been successful. If I come out of format and run df-h there you can see the file systems with the root pool again on a 150 gigabyte disk. Now what I'm going to do is exit from the zone come out from the console and I'm going to add another disk device Again, I'm going to create an emulated volume, 50 gigs this time. I'll use the minus S flag to just use sparse allocation so I don't use any actual storage until it's uh, called upon. And I'll call the device kzone2 store. And then I can go into zone CFG minus Z K zone 2 add a device set match set ID equals 1 set match equals slash dev slash zvol slash rdsk slash rpool slash kzones slash kzone to store no boot pry needed this time and verify commit and exit now that hasn't changed the running zone but it has committed the information to uh, the zone uh, static storage in etc zones. If I want the zone to see the disk straight away I can then do zone ADM minus Z K zone to apply and there it's adding the device. If I then go back in log into the zone and then do format there's my second disk. I can select it. Uh, because it's on an Intel platform I have to run the F disk command within format just press Y and now I've created a normal Sun disk label on that new disk drive. And that concludes the tutorial. Just a quick note to remind you that you need to obey when you're when you're dealing with zones you need to obey the Oracle licensing conditions and there's a PDF that Oracle provide called hard partitioning with Oracle Solaris zones that will guide you uh, you can easily do a Google search of that and then lastly there's a little tweak to the global zone that you might need to do when building kernel zones because the ZFS arc cache may use a lot of the memory for buffering purposes and it might not be quick enough to release it and you may get a few error messages uh, when you try and use kernel zones okay and what that involves is creating a file in etc system.d called something whatever you like and you have to put this set user reserve hint pct option in here i've set it to a value of 60 which basically assures that i'll always have 60 percent of my memory free when I run applications and that the, the ZFS art cache won't use above 40%. And that's the end of that. Thank you very much indeed.